It's upside down. Yeah. Is I'll it? Do my, yeah. Why is yours like that? Because I'm trying. I was doing something crazy, but at least mine can stick where it's supposed to be at. So how is it supposed the to go? The elbow has to go the other way. Like it's, that? I think so. Oh, I think that's better. Yeah, that is better. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I think you need to spin it at the jump. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Is you dumb? <laughs> All right, yeah. I mean, this is it looks crazy. Like an octopus. Rowan's looks way better than mine. <laughs> what? It's still upside down. Look how his is. You know? His shit's below him. Your shit's above. Your shit's in front of your face. Yeah, here. Can I? Dude, I don't know what you guys just told me to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right like that? No, swing the thing. Swing this guy. That's what it was like before. Not right. No. That's... Now it's like runs. No, oh, wasn't that what it was just like? No, but hold up. I think that put. We put can run the tapes up. back. That's what it was. <laughs> that's what it just looked like. And you guys were like, it's upside down. So I turned it the other way. Whatever. So as long as it's facing into your mouth, you're good. Yeah. That's, this, good. that's, that's better right there. No, you can't. you keep on pulling it out. Yeah. What type of three stooges <laughs> shit is this? Oh, <laughs> Has to be like this. I mean, this is oh, crazy, right. dude. Right. This is crazy. Yeah, you might be right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, was right. What the hell? <laughs> I, mean, that was insane. I mean, this is nuts. Does it tighten? It's got to tighten. Ah, oh, because it was coming from. <laughs> All right. I want to keep that in. That <laughs> looks like it. This will work. All right. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Today it is the last day of January. Fuck. And it's a Tuesday. Where has it gone? Where has it gone? Where you guys are gonna be hearing this on Wednesday. Goes. So it's February for you so guys. It's February first for you guys. Rabbit, 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 rabbit. Shortest month of the year. And why is it Black History Month? I don't know. Something about the blacks in February. They fucking love it. <laughs> <laughs> is that known? Is that People true? have been saying that, yeah. Is that true? I don't know. Or did they give them the shortest month? <laughs> There's also theories about that. That's a theory. That's been kicked around on the Twitch. Conspiracy theory. Yeah, that's been kicked around. Who's to say if it's... Oh, I almost forgot. Fortune cookies. Oh, shit. Should I pass them out or do you guys want to pick your own fortunes? I'll pick my own. Where'd you get all these? Um, from the uh, the Chinese store. Toss one. No, oh, no, you gotta pick your own. Bro. That's how fortune works. I don't get the taste. Of <laughs> good boy, good boy. Do I have to eat it? Do you have to eat it to make the fortune come true? Because I don't like the cookie. Oh no. No, you have to eat it, bro. Yeah, oh no. Even if you have to make an icky face, you gotta eat well, it. Well, I don't dislike the cookie. They just, just have. There's nothing it. to them. Yeah, they're just like it's like eating cardboard. Yeah, it's like a dump dumpling cookie. Come on. Crack that thing up. I never seen someone struggle with a fortune cookie like that. Wow, that's a terrible. I don't like that one at all. What'd you get? Uh mine says a difficult decision will soon yield success. I don't that's love that. <laughs> that's extremely half assed. Yeah. Well, at least it yields success. I guess. What'd you get, Mike? I don't want to make a difficult decision. I got a very sass one. By changing nothing, nothing changes. That's Holy a terrible one. Shit. Where did you get these from? The, these are half-assed. The best, the best fortune cookie store in, no way. in, in New York. This place is, is famous for them. See, look at mine. Help, I'm trapped in a fortune cookie factory. <laughs> Very what clever. The fuck? No, my dad always used to hit me with that one. Yeah, that's classic. a classic. Actually, that's joke. The, the best dad joke that he's ever had. It's a good one. It's the fucking funniest yep. dad joke. It must have made. It must have been made by someone who is not yet a father. Yeah, it had to have been. And then dad's just appropriated it. It's a dad joke written it, by not a dad. It isn't enough to think outside the box. You must take action. Dude, that's the one I got. What the hell? We got no the no way. <laughs> Bro, this is bullshit. What are your That's numbers? a scam. A also, these aren't. Was yours? I got a sick one. It just says Bonjour Amigo. No. Oh, oh Bonjour Amigo. Bonjour Amigo. <laughs> bonjour Amigo. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Bonjour Amigo. <laughs> that's awesome. I forgot about Bonjour Amigo for a second there. How? I don't know. Make sure you uh, like and subscribe too. Drop a Bonjour Amigo. Bonjour Amigo. Yeah, that's our thing now. 
Uh, I don't like how these are like these are like wax paper. The cookies, these cookies taste like wax paper. These are these are not like. And what is this on the back? It's a little bit too sticky. It's like uh, ads. They're running ads oh on the back. God. The fuck is this? This slip is kept <laughs> by over twenty percent of people. Scan to learn why. All right, twenty scan, times scan it, bro. social. Mine's ripped, so I can't scan it. Fuck. Seven percent share on social. Is that what yours says? Yeah. Mine says 20,000 or 20 times share. That's what the fuck they're doing with these? They're running ads? Yeah. I'm pissed we got the same one. Yeah, that it doesn't I've never special. seen that before, to be honest. What are your numbers? Is it like the exact same one? You guys got numbers? 6, 11, 11 14, 14, 18, 18 35, 35, 56. 56. Where'd you get these? I bought them. You didn't buy them? Yeah, I went to Times Square and I got them. You don't buy fortune cookies. They sell them at Macy's. No way. At the big ass, the Macy's on 34th Street. I got 5, 17, 19, 23, 24, 5. That's a good set. That's bullshit. But it is a good ass idea by them to just put some some knowledge inside of food. It's kind of like a Snapple fact a little bit. Yeah. The Except QR I like it when it's good. The QR code brings you to openfortune.com where you can place your brand and engage with 135 million people. Per month. Yeah, what the fuck? Bullshit. So they're running ads. Yeah, this is not, there's no, this email. Is, these aren't traditional fortune cookies. Oh, so do you think these are plants? They were these dropped plants, off in the yeah. office. There's a box of them in the lobby. And so I just grabbed a handful of them. But you think that these are, this is someone's fucking mid-level marketing scheme that they're trying to bomb us with? Yes. This, they'll probably talk about this in the next company meeting. <laughs> Another like success. Jack Mac is all over fortune cookies <laughs> right now. <laughs> You gotta smash fortune yeah. cookies. Look at what the mean girls have done with fortune yeah. cookies. The mean girls revolutionized the fortune cookie. <laughs> it's just that simple. You go to the comments and it's like, why are there fucking fortune cookies on Barstool? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck are these fortune cookies doing on no, the Barstool? The comments would be like, Sass thinks he's too good for fortune cookies. <laughs> I mean, you didn't eat yours. Oh, I don't want mine. You it's said also, you would fraud. eat it. They're fraud. You just said they're cookies. not that bad. The cookies are pretty good. You're probably it's probably a curse if you eat those. No, the cookies good. You're consuming capitalism is what you're doing. They're very sugary though, True. but I like it. It's kind of nice. But what, what is you, it? What is it even made? It's got to just be straight sugar, right? It tastes like straight sugar. Yeah, burnt sugar. Burnt sugar. Marshmallows. Yeah, a little marshmallow in there. Love it. But you see that tweet about silk, where silk comes from? No. It comes from boiled silkworms. Oh wow! They—it's actual worms that make the shirts. What the fuck? That's pretty cool. It's—it's it's barbaric to wear silk, though. I can't imagine like people are pissed off about leather. Like you have to kill tons of silkworms just to be able to wear a silky shirt. Well, I think that's because people care about leather animals, cows. They don't care about worms. No, no one gives a fuck about worms. I'm not gonna wear the worms, bro. I, I would never wear a silk shirt. I won't shirt wear the to worms because you're wearing worms. I'm not wearing a full silk shirt. That sounds terrible. <laughs> didn't you think it, it came out of their butt like a fucking spider, <laughs> like a spider web? No, I didn't know it came. I didn't know. I thought it was just a fabric that someone came up with. How do you think fabrics? What do you think fabrics are made of? I don't know. What do you think cotton's made of? Cotton. Yeah. <laughs> it's a plant that What's grows What's polyester out of the made of? Uh, computers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's definitely a computer-ass fabric. Yeah. Um, Mike's in the studio. We got Mike in this bitch. Bonjour, amigo. <laughs> Bonjour, amigo. Mike, are you moving to New York? Yeah. When? A um, couple months. Wow, nice. Yeah. You got any... Where for me to live? Well, that's when me and Roan are going to Chicago. Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> fuck. Oh, Perfect. No, that'll work out great. Yeah, it's office should be set up by September. It's good are to you be going sick. out to Chicago? Yeah. Are you really? Of course, dude. We're yeah. learning how to skateboard now. Let's go. For the office office half pipe. No, dude, Ron and I are falling office? back. We're hanging back. We said we got we still got we're not done with this city. The comedy scene. Yeah. yeah. Unfinished it's business. Comedy we lives. got a lot to do here still. Best pool scene in the country, too. Best pool scene. Yeah. Incredible pools, really it was nice so pools. sick to play with you. Since I've Did been, you hit me up York. on a bad day. Yeah, you hit me up on a day three where I was days ago. In. I, was little, <laughs> I was locked in playing video games. Oh, dude, you caught him while he was playing caught, video games. Well, you did say that. That is brutal. Well, yeah, what could you have done there? Your hands were tied. You had to keep on playing. Well, video what about if my boys were on? I wasn't going to be like, hey, I got to go. No, for sure. It was probably totally just like a, only that. a couple hours that you played, right? No, did probably twenty hours this weekend. Oh, it's, oh, it's called putting in the work. <laughs> Something that you guys wouldn't understand. <laughs> That's some Ma Malcolm it's Gladwell. Called having hobbies outside of work. That's the 10,000 hours you were chasing down. Yeah. It's probably good for your mental instead of going out and seeing your friends. No, it was amazing. It's for good my life mental. experience for you. It was amazing. You know? Yeah. 
was the most, it was the best weekend I've had in months. That's good. No, it's good to have. No you, drinking. Yeah. Don't really need that anymore. No, I was going to say, you, you're <laughs> yeah. looking slimmer. Now there's no way. You know what I did do? I had a home cooked meal yesterday for the first time in Atta months. Boy. Who cooked it? Me. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. What? Yeah. Chicken, What'd you make? Chicken pasta salad. Pasta salad? No. Those are, it was, it was supposed to be a space in between that. What kind oh, of pasta? Okay. Bow ties. Wow. Because that would make for good pasta salad, yes, too. Yes. A little feta cheese. Yeah. A little bit good. of uh, maybe good. some olives on it. Well, felt good. What made you cook? What made you decide to cook? I said, I don't want to order food. Yeah. So I'm going to cook food. It does give you a sense of accomplishment. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Trust me. There's no need to worry about that. They had the meetings where everybody was told their bonuses and Sass was told he owes money. <laughs> I actually didn't get it. Did you guys get bonuses him, no. yet? I did. Oh, cool. <laughs> Let's go to you. <laughs> no. Yeah, I didn't think anyone from content did. All right, but I'm I don't want I'm not I'm I don't want my one. bonus back. Yeah, I don't yeah. want one either. I'm giving so. my bonus back this year. I yeah, say, how yeah. about the little man? I was gonna donate mine. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am to anybody that buys a brick watch. I was gonna buy yeah. an ad on uh, openfortune.com. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well once it reaches hundred and thirty million people. <laughs> yeah. I look at mine and I say, guys, I don't need the five hundred dollars. Thank you. <laughs> I know I worked all year for this, but I don't need five hundred. I want you guys to give this to someone else. Give it to Brianna. Give it to Brianna. <laughs> she worked her ass off she this needs year. It. She fucking busted her ass. I did nothing in comparison. No. And let's keep it a fucking bean. Let's keep it a fucking bee. <laughs> let's keep it a bean. Dude, I got in a car accident today. Oh shit, really? I was in the Uber and the and the dude crashed. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> During our meeting. Uh no, it was right after the meeting. I hopped on a phone call right afterwards and uh was it was, a bad crash? I was, you weren't in a good place prior to the to the crash. Yeah. Yeah. You seemed uh, flustered. I was flustered. Yeah, yeah. you just yeah. It's like what the fuck that is was going God on? God striking you down. Yeah. It was. Through the guy we got like God off her driving into Manhattan. And uh, he was like, he was p like pulling off to an off ramp on what the right. What did he look like? Uh, it looked like one of the characters from the Godzilla movie. Okay. What did he sound like? One of the towns. Because that's going to help me. He sounded like one of the guys from the Godzilla movie. I need to know what he sounded like. Remember Stephen Che's impression of the guy who said Godzilla? <laughs> yeah. That's what he sounded like. Yeah. He sounded like that guy. Got it. All right. Are you, are you getting a picture in your mind yeah, of what he looks it, like yeah. based off what kind he- Kind of. I'm imagining like he's, so he's white. <laughs> like maybe he looks a little bit like Francis. <laughs> He's a white Hollywood actor. Yeah. He's <laughs> I think Mook was maybe your driver. Possibly yeah, it today. was Mook. It was the legend. It's Mook getting in the backseat of his own Uber. <laughs> That's gotta be the next one. When I get into it the backseat of my name. own Uber in the space when the space time continuum breaks after eight Bud Lights. His name was probably like Mook Hamid. <laughs> 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 well, Mook. He said it was probably his name. Mook Ham. No, I got. Yeah, Mook. He was I, Asian. I he was a, Asian. I was going to say. I thought he was Asian. He was, Asian. He was a That's different a, type of Asian. I don't know any Asian names. Mook. Mook is a good Asian name, actually. Yeah. Like a mukbang. Yeah, mukbang. That's good. That's um, but so, so I was pulling off, and he just slammed into the wall. It like careened oh, no. around to the left, and he just like didn't turn the car at all. He just like almost as if it was on purpose, <laughs> drove the car straight into the wall. <laughs> That's crazy. Did you and get I'll, out? No, I was or on the kept phone and out? I just, I like burst out laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I just started Did his airbags go off? Uh, no, the airbags didn't go off, but like he had to like get out of the car and like assess the oh, situation. Man. I just That's like stayed crazy. on the phone. What kind of car was it? Uh, Ford Fusion. For which, but pretty, to their testament, yeah, they're very, built like very, a fucking yeah, tank. Very resilient they can car. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. You can but knock them up here and there. I saw it coming from so far away, though. Like, he made no attempts to turn. Like, he, like, realized something was up. <laughs> like, kind of looked around. And, like, the entire time, we're just getting closer and closer <laughs> That's to hilarious. The and he didn't turn. Like, you could see the confusion on his face. Like, it should have been, like... Like it, it was too, it was too sharp thing. of a turn. Yeah. It yeah. was like, no, no. <laughs> it was too stars. sharp of a turn. But he yeah. Didn't well, even try yeah what did you rate him? Stars? I told him I was going to tip him even better because, because oh, he really? got into the accident. But then I got out and it like, his, his shit wasn't busted up that bad. And I'm like, man, <laughs> you still have to own, go, bro. you still have to go three or less so, so you don't get him again. No, I want to give him five stars. I don't want to be the reason he blew his shit. I'm not trying to be like the, he just, 
<laughs> ran into the wall. So he's having a hard enough day. I'm not trying to fucking shit on this guy while he can't even control his car. That's if he crazy. got rear-ended, it would Wait, be so you guys thing. just kept driving? <laughs> he got out of the car, <laughs> reversed it out of the crash, and, <laughs> and then just left? <laughs> That's wild. I, I assume that when you crash in Uber, they just yeah, like, you, you gotta, gotta get out. Yeah, you, yeah, gotta, you gotta, gotta get a different drive. <laughs> no, you just- Get a different it, ride. Like, once he saw me laughing, he was just like, he like kind of laughed. He's like, oh, <laughs> like, I don't that know what to sucks, do. That sucks, It was so fun. I what mean, was the mood in the car for the rest of the ride? I mean, I was on the phone being like, yeah, I just fucking crashed this car. <laughs> I was on the phone. I was talking to Caleb. He was like, I heard the I heard the crash. That's crazy. So that's, I heard this shit go That's off. a hot start to the morning. It was a preposterous start to the morning. I mean, it was midday. I'd done a bunch of shit beforehand. Oh, yeah. But uh, it was a hot start. Well, to the, I, the way to the what office. time did you get in? Like 12, but I had Philly meeting. Pat Bev meeting. Yeah, don't get on physical his ass therapy. about it. I'm curious. I just Jesus didn't know why he wasn't Christ. in the office before noon. <laughs> you had, weren't either. I had Where were you at? Meetings. Yeah, I was. I was here at 8 a.m. You've never seen the morning of this office, dude. You don't know what it looks like. You know it's a different color here. scheme in the morning? I was the first person here. You know there's a whole different set of people that work the early shift here? <laughs> <laughs> a whole different content crew rolls in. <laughs> they punch out That's halfway through the day. That's when they bring in the A-team? Yeah. Dion. Pat Bev. Yeah, that's when fucking Caleb and Riggs are in Caleb here. Caleb and Riggs. All the heavy Portnoy. hitters. Yeah. Cooper just for the merch. Cooper for the merch, yeah. Just she, she's still cooking merch. She's still she's still putting it out. Yeah. And bonjour to Amigas. The Amigas. Yeah. Amigas. Bonjour, Amigas. Amigas. Yeah. That's a good that's a girl. That's a girlfriend. Yeah. Well, a Novi is a girlfriend, but an Amiga's a girlfriend. Um what the hell have you been doing, Sass? What'd you do all weekend, bro? I told you I played video games legitimately the whole the time. Entire weekend, bro, the entire how you, weekend. How are you going to build up your um your your comedy set when uh you, you you need to live, bro? Louis said he takes a whole year off just to get lived experiences, so he is shit for his fucking. Uh, well, dude, what we about did the Plano? Case race. What about Plano? We heard it was great. Yeah, that was like a month ago. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> Yeah, Plano was great. Yeah. Sass's next hour is going to be amigo. like uh, war zone jokes. <laughs> no, I got a bunch of new shit. Airplane I just don't, jokes. I mean, I, I just didn't have anything this weekend. And I was like, I'm going to take it easy. I'm going to play some video games. That's good. Chill. For That's good. But then you over video gamed yourself. I did. Yeah. You need to get out of, out of the VG a little bit. Yeah. Out of the virtual world. You truly did nothing else. No, legitimately. I didn't leave my Sunday apartment night? from fr from Thursday night until Sunday. Nuh-uh. Yeah. Yeah. Nuh-uh. I left my room sick? only to go to the bathroom. No way. And pick up my Uber Eats at the front door. How many times a day did you order Uber Eats? Probably just twice. So seven orders at least. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Without Christ. going outside? No, even to like outside. throw out the trash? No, never went outside. Never even went outside in your hallway of your apartment? No. God Jesus damn. Christ. It was that amazing. bums me out a little dude, bit. Dude, new that, world. It's a new world. Ron. It shouldn't bum you out, dude. It was, it was, a, a it was an amazing world. Well, we're weekend. We're coming up St. Joe's Prep. Come on, man. It was nothing man. like that. It was man. an amazing Jesuit weekend. Education man. Dude, I'm not going to be able to play for a while. I got to go to fucking going to Boston on Thursday. Bro, we were partying, doing community service, outreach. Bro, I guess I just don't pitch. I don't have like the itch to party that you guys did. I think like, well, I we were working I don't, at I don't soup kitchens too. We were working at soup <laughs> about that. What about your Nobody itch to talks do about that service? anymore. Hell, I don't have the itch we were to like up fill my anything. body with with toxic substances. We were painting over the rectories at, of like, like you. abandoned churches. Yeah, yeah, we did that, bro. That sucks. I'm sorry. No, it for doesn't. You. It was fucking no, it was dope. terrible. It was community bro. building. I got to play Warzone. It actually for, feels for great. Fifteen hours. I was fulfilling. You were fulfilling. You ever grind? You ever grind for three hours just to get one win? Bro, you ever do fulfilling. charity? You ever do? You ever be a man for others one time in your life? Yeah, yesterday I was walking to work and a homeless guy stopped me and said, "Hey, I need cash," and I said, "Oh, don't have any cash, sorry, man." And then he said, "What about this ATM over here?" And I said, "Don't have an ATM card." And then I went back to my apartment, got cash, brought him cash. No way. Yeah, that's called how much? Shared. Twenty bucks, and he only asked for five. They're asking for five nowadays. Yeah, yeah. They're getting cocky. Jesus. They're getting a little cocky. You give them a dollar and they get like, they get legitimately the angry. Like I don't there was even a dude that, that it was like, yeah, this dude needs some. So I gave him two bucks. He didn't say a word. I didn't know that. It's five not because it's not enough. Yeah, he was like, what the fuck? Two's not enough. This. Yeah. Yeah, I can't buy a soda with two. No, they don't. They, they, don't they do soda. not fuck with like one. They don't want singles. They want right. They want twenties and up. Damn. Well, How did? What, what was it about him that? Sparkle in his eye. He had a sparkle in his eye. I saw potential. 
I said, why don't you come to Boston with me? What did he look like? <laughs> what did he That's your like? manager now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's blindsided. Yeah. I was like, fuck, dude, my manager. Here, I don't have any cash, again. but take 10% of my future. Yeah. <laughs> I don't have any money on me, but I'll pay you in perpetuity. Yeah. No, yeah. He was a good guy. You know, it was actually annoying because I like went, I was like, stay here, I'll go get money. When got it was right outside of my apartment. I went upstairs, got money, came back down, gave it to him. He just took it and walked away. No like thank you or anything. I was like, dude. Yeah. I just fucking walked up my five floor. I five actually stories. came out of my room today. Dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kidding me? You know, I haven't. I bet I was outside. the only one that did that today. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Beast didn't do any shit Mr. like Beast that. Mr. Beast didn't do shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beast would never do some shit yeah, like what's, that. What's Mr. Beast doing now? Yeah, Curing Beast. blindness. Blindness. Yeah. 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 And people are pissed. Yeah. He's getting called a pedophile because he got cleared people's blindness. Why? There's like, I don't know. He's just like something about him. Just, I think he's, I think he's something like you need to keep an eye out on. And now everyone thinks he's a pedophile. People no are pun. so fucking weird, bro. People That's are so, so crazy. So strange. And, and it's the weirdest people that are just crushing him for it. Dude, I really don't care if somebody like, I don't care what kind of content somebody else makes. And it's probably good if they're giving away money and I don't give a fuck if they film it. I really no. don't care. No. Even if it is self-serving, it's like, all right, it's dually serving. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, he's all the people are really people. able to see now? I think so. I Has think it, it was, happened? Cure, it's, these are curable Hell blindness. No. So they're probably just people who have thick glasses. Oh, gotcha. He's probably just getting LASIK <laughs> for like... Yeah, he's like, getting LASIK. Yeah. Middle-aged moms. What was it? Did you guys watch the video? I don't know. Just wait till like the end. What was it? All it's like a 10-minute surgery for people that like aren't fully blind, essentially. It's like a quick fix. The thumbnail was funny. So it's just, just him with like a bunch of yeah that was really weird was the thumbnail weird was thumbnail, weird as dude. shit yeah just Shouts him surrounded by like a bunch of blind people it's just crazy because he's it seems like he's doing must have been tough to get that group picture together like no, no we're, over looking here. Over, we're looking over here follow my follow the sound yeah beast is hiring right now I got a LinkedIn from his somebody from his really? team. Oh no, bro! Yeah. First we lose. So, Owen. sorry, yeah, broskies. We're lose Mike, we're about to lose Mike. To Going beast. to the beast. Shout out Chandler Hollow, bro. His boy that he does all the stuff with. Dude, I don't know who with. that is. You don't? No. You don't watch Mr. Beast videos? No. Come on, bro. I've actually never. I only. I used to watch them when he would be like, "We're gonna take a thousand gumballs and put them in this room," and everyone was like, "Holy fuck!" I mean, that's what? a lot of gumballs. This is dude. genius. How did he think of this? Yeah. <laughs> that was like the extent of his early YouTube career. It's just crazy how no matter what, like even if you do good, people will turn on you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They turned on Joel Osteen, the pastor. Do you know <laughs> who I'm talking about? No, not at all. <laughs> he's this pastor who's like, uh, he actually, I think Handsome he's a bad fella. guy. He like wouldn't let people into Katrina. He, he had like mega churches in New Orleans. Yeah. And during like... Uh, I don't know if it was Katrina or like maybe Hurricane Harvey. It was in uh, yeah. Texas or something like that. Yeah. He wouldn't let people into his mega churches or something. What is a mega church? Sounds crazy. Oh, you don't know a mega church? No, it's just a big Jesus. ass church. If you would ever leave your fucking room, man. <laughs> you got to get to mega church, bro. You it's need just mega a God. big church. It's what? A big church. How hard is that? <laughs> it's what do they look like though? Do they have like They're enormous parts in them and stuff? It's like a club. That's it crazy. Is. Aren't all churches mega churches? Churches are big. Meg, no, mega no, churches mega are different. Church. It's like it's a like Texas a super thing. Wawa. Holy like, shit, so it's like an arena. It's, yeah, it's like a stadium. There are these fucking massive, like he could have easily saved all of Houston, Texas in his mega church. This is going to be you one day, Sass. That's wild. Yeah. Do you think that's like a big deal? Do you think like, do you think like, do you think like priests get fired up about that? He, like, well, these are religion. Or, it's well, his own religion. Are, yeah, they're, 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 they're like uh, pastors. They're not, they're not like priests they're like pastors who are like uh you have to like buy tickets yes yeah, and too. they get like donations and they're making like they're printing money these guys printing. are rock stars like creflo dollar like joel osteen guys yeah. that that show televangelists righteous gemstones, righteous gemstones yeah. do that shit joey clem is gonna be on, on righteous clem, uh gemstones this no coming way. season who's joey clem Oh, I know Joey, Joey Clem. Yeah, my bad, my jo bad, my bad. No, my bad. shouts my bad. to Joey Clem. No, no, I'm you sorry. kidding me? Disgusting. I know. I don't think Yo. I've ever heard his last name in a while. That, that's how we call him, is Clem. Yeah, you're about to see him on the big screen now. All I hear is Joey. Bro, um, come on, man. No, but he actually told a great story. He's like, going to be all over the one episode. Oh, he is? He was the store clerk. That's crazy. He said he, he showed up for the audition, and it was all Mexican guys and him. And the casting director went right over to him and was like, actually, you, you come up here and put him right, he's right behind the counter. <laughs> like, we have so, quotas. <laughs> no, I like his <laughs> yeah, kind of I think dope. he has like a line. Like, it was pretty funny. That's yeah, awesome. It has to be ripping a sick. That's his, his Oh, dude, it's going to be really funny. That's so sick, dude. 
Man, he got on righteous. He got on HBO before you did. You <laughs> gotta be salty. I'll probably never be on HBO. Don't say that, Sass. What would You'll I be, be on, on H- HBO within five years? What would I be on HBO for? Real sex. Real sex. Yeah. <laughs> Real sex with Brian Gumble. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Brian Gumble fucking every week. <laughs> I'm Brian Gumble, and this is my dick. You know who Brian Gumble is? Yeah. No, you don't. Love Brian Gumble. <laughs> What's his brother's name? Brett. Uh, yep. I was close. It was Greg. Is. Greg. That's what it was. <laughs> Greg, Greg Gumble. Gumbel. Yeah. <laughs> GG. You used to call him GG. Yeah. GG. Like GG Allen. GG 33. Greg Gumble is a funny ass name, bro. Get name any word that ends in L. Gumble's a is hilarious funny. last name. Yeah, Gumble. <laughs> like if Sass's last name was Gumble, it would be, you'd be set. Sass Gumble? Sassy Gumble? Yeah. <laughs> that would be a good name. Well, that'd bon be Jour Bon Jour Gumbel. Amigo. <laughs> Gumble? Gum- Sassy Gumble? No, but nothing beats Bonjour Amigo. What's up with those socks, Sass? <laughs> These are MeUndies socks, bro. Oh, yeah. Shouts so, to the sponsor. Uh, previous proud sponsor of the podcast. Shouts to the sponsor. Yes, yes. Not current sponsor, but Not I current. think that's just because there's people sell less underwear during uh, pandemics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or uh, recessions or whatever. They're nice. The fuck, I like those. Whatever the fuck we're going through. Whatever bullshit we're going through. It's just a little splash of color. You no, know? it's we nice. Do. Oh, shit. The is this winter. the 100th episode? No, nah, next week. Next week? Yeah. We should play Monopoly for the 100th episode. You want to? Yeah, that'll be fun. A whole game? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'd be so down. Let's do that. I don't think that would work. Why? So people want to listen to us play Monopoly? You suggested it, so. I was just looking at this table, table and I'm like, this is a like good, that. this is a good Monopoly that table. Is, yeah, it is. No, I think we could bullshit and especially it, it will encourage people to watch. Let's play Monopoly for the hundredth episode. All right. Well, when are we Don't, doing that Ken, tomorrow? Loser has like four to- four hours. Uh, Monopoly games, yeah, yeah it'd take a long time. Well, it's a hundredth episode. That'd be good. We'll speed run it, or we should we? Have, yeah, we'll have we could have a go long cast of guests. When are we? Do when are we Rogan recording with that tomorrow? We are. Uh, when are you leaving? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I leave Thursday morning. <laughs> For you, where? Boston. What? Yeah, I'm with Seth that week. When are you leaving? The boys are going back to what the, the bean. <laughs> no, I just, sorry, bro. What? Have fun on your little Phoenix trip, though. That'll be nah, no, we're coming to Boston no, with tomatoes, brother. Time. We're coming yeah. through, brother. <laughs> yeah, are you going back to that club? Yeah, where the, where Laugh Boston? Yeah, yeah, except I'm... Uh, bringing, you bringing a check? You bringing a blank check? We're bringing rocks this time, brother. <laughs> oh, shit. No way. If yo, if you're going to Sass's show, definitely bring some tomatoes. Please dude. bring tomatoes and drop a bonjour amigo. Drop a, drop bonjour, a bonjour amigo, amigo, but spell it funny. No, but really, actually, do not bring tomatoes. <laughs> But do. Yeah, definitely do. And spell it funny with some capitalized letters and some some lowercase letters. We need to get some Bonjour Amigo designs, bro. <laughs> we do. I thought we already had them made. Or though. stickers. Um, have you guys ever phone put cases? St- maybe. Yeah. Shoes. Phone, oversized shoes. phone cases. I like shoes. Yeah, that'll be good. How about some novelty some Italian Bonjour leather Amigo shoes? shoes. Some mid mid height boots. We gotta get some like, like, like some dialer. Oh, you, get you know what we should do? We need the shoes, you know, like the bro. lucky, you know, like the lucky brand jeans, where like the underwear, <laughs> and you open it up, and it says like lucky you. Yeah, ours will be like boxers, and when you like bonjour. pull your pants down, it says bonjour amigo. Oh, that'd be yes, fire. dude, that'd be fire. That would sell off the fu- that would fly off the shelves. And they got undies. One, one squirrel running up made the one by me undies. Yeah, with huge. a nut. And then it's running down the other leg with yeah. the other nut. Something I like, like that a lot. Something like that. It's a good idea. I don't know. Something like that along those lines. I'm spitballing. I'm spitballing. I'm too. just kind of spitballing. We're kind of just building on each other's spit. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this fucking spit cracking, bro. Let's get this fucking <laughs> shit going, bro. Yeah. Let's, let's fucking crack off with this fucking merch, dude. Bon February is our amigo. month, bro. February is our month. February well, it's not is our, our month. month. <laughs> no, it's, it's definitely not all. <laughs> you guys been cranking. <laughs> we all no, need to take bro. this month. Up. No, this yeah. is, uh, bro. We gotta. <laughs> we actually shouldn't even put out an episode. This no, we month. gotta take back <laughs> February, bro. We gotta sit our asses down and listen for once. <laughs> it's like taking back Sunday, but we're taking back February, bro. No way. Yes, bro. Take. I'm let's out take on it that. back. Why? I'm all about giving in February. Yes. Yes. Let's give. I'm all about checking ears. my privilege. Yep. <laughs> yeah. You've Doing given 20. What? You've given five, actually. No, given 20. 20. Yeah, I heard California is going to give them all 20. They're going to do reparations in California. Really? It's kind of dope. That's, that is dope. Yeah, they got a good thing going on over there. It's good. It's a good state. Yeah, we got to get back out there. Yeah. There's something about the way that they- I'm going to California in uh, March. Fuck yeah, brother. Yeah. Going to San Francisco. Cobbs. Oh. Me and Francis are co-headlining there. His tickets are on sale now. Co-headlining is a funny phrase because someone's got to go last. <laughs> Going last is better. Correct. That's what I mean. Closing. No, that's you, what I mean. swap. Okay. Yeah. 
So it's a co-headline. Oh, yeah. oh okay. I got well, it. Why don't you say that? You should have said it was you co-headline. Said co. I did say co-headline. <laughs> Run back the tape. And then we're going to both go up after and just kind of shoot the shit on oh, stage. Nice. Yeah, little bump in mics little banter, thing. Little, little bump in mics. Yeah. That'll be cool. Little bump in mics, sure. I remember we used to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a good time. Boston's going to be fun, too. Boston will be fun. I have been sensing yeah. the tension. Yeah, bro. Just around the office watching you guys. I literally asked Sass about that when you left the office or left the studio before. What did he say? I just think that there's something there. Something's, I know. He it's said, what do you trust right. me? He said, he said, is there tension between you and Roan? And I said, what? No. That's a he said, pretty... That's, he said, that's not what Roan said. No, I didn't say that. Yeah, he did. He did? Mm-hmm. Well, it's because you don't trust me. Why would I not trust you? I don't know. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Did you where Where did you guys go on after the case race? You go back to your apartment. Yeah, I yeah. invited you like a million times. I know it was the best decision I ever made. Not going. I got I got home and passed out instantly. I was like, come. I am at what, what What was that like? You guys stood there for like five minutes, and everyone went home. Or did you guys chill? No, it was just. No. You guys raged. We we didn't rage, but we we like fired up a bunch of YouTube videos. And oh shit! shit. It, was, it was that that type of kickback. Who's calling you? No, oh, take it. It's probably important. It's pretty. It's oh, probably more Freddy? important than Legend. anything we're doing. Oh, shit. Freddy Wap? Sorry, bro. 1738. I said, hey, what's up? Hello. Good song. Good song. Fun song. <laughs> I think he's going to do a lot of time for selling drugs, Freddy Wap is. Yeah, isn't Freddy Wap in prison? I think he is, bro. Poor you see that guy? video of Young Thug uh, trying to buy like the Percocet in court? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and no. they busted him <laughs> quick. I mean, that's just another charge. The next day he's face planted down. Yeah. <laughs> Let my man have a fucking Erky, bro. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Let my man get a fucking 30 one time. I know. A uh, uh, court probably would have been fun as hell for him if he was off that if perk. He was off the perks. <laughs> what did they call him? What was like the name they gave him? For. Like if they like they like referred to him as oh, something King, like, King Slime. Slime. King Slime. We got the King Slime. slime. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, they said it in so court? is he going to jail for life? Oh yeah, he's fucked. That's For life, crazy. life. He's fucked. Yeah, bro. he's, he's in like big every, trouble. Everybody else in YSL is getting out of jail for a reason because they're all ratting him out. They just want thug. Yeah, which is mean. It's not cool. That's kind of mean of them to kind of single him out. It's rude. If also, it was a Rico all Enterprise, boys, all of his boys are ratting him out. They it's should rude. all wear that together. And it was funny how all of the hip hop community acted about Takashi Six Nine when he was right. Switching. Right. Yeah, well, Takashi Six Nine was a little different. Well, he was how? a pedophile. Was he? Was he? Wasn't he like fucking kids? I think you're thinking of Mr. Beast. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, sure that was Mr. no, that was Mr. Wasn't Beast. Wasn't Six Nine in no, prison? No, Takashi Six like... Nine was fixing people's blindness. That's why he was in. Oh shit! Takashi Six Nine was no, doing yeah. elective color blindness surgeries for people. <laughs> that is, so they could <laughs> appreciate his hair. Dude, that picture of like the Tate brothers and like Steve will do it, and Takashi Six Nine, and they're like canceled. <laughs> They posted Damn. that thinking that was going to be like the coolest thing anyone's ever seen. They definitely all made more money after they got canceled. Yeah. Well, the Tate boys are in prison. Free Tate, help, bro. Free Tate. I heard they're snitching on each other. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I heard they're linked in with King Slime trying to fucking dig him and dig him a grave. It's just bullshit, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't like how, um, I think they should just let him go and just Tate? free him. No, no. Yeah. Well, no, six, nine. Slime? And slime. Who's slime? Slime. Oh, okay. I think that Young they should thug. just free the bro. Let's we'll take some time to talk about Barstool Sports merchandise. Shop our premium crewnecks and retro hats on the Barstool Sports store. Son of a boy dad retro golf hat. We have a boy dad retro hat. We have a son of a boy dad crew neck is an applique oh an applique crew neck sorry my bad so that means that it's gonna have a nice uh stitching embossed stitching it's Ooh. like a raised applique that it's not just like a little flush fucking paint on the sweatshirt yeah i like that or some rinky dink bs like this is a high quality applique crew neck fits great looks great it's high-end stuff that you want to get for your friends it's still cold out no matter where the hell you are in the united states it's still crew neck season and you know what Crew neck season goes year round these days. Size up, get a baggy one, wear it with some shorts, wear it to the gym. Like you'll look good. You'll feel good. People will be like, ooh, is that a pleak? And you'll be like, yeah. There's also the puff crew neck. The puff crew neck is one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's so good. 
It's so damn good. I'm yeah. Whenever I see it, I'm like, ooh, that looks good. It's a good, it's a good crew neck. Yeah, I get I get blown away by it. So make sure you check all that stuff out at the Barstool Sports Store. You can go to shop now at store.barstoolsports.com. That's store.barstoolsports.com. And there's all kinds of good stuff in there. You can get Eagles merchandise in there. You can get some Jalen Hurts exclusive stuff, Barstool Philly stuff. You Call can get her daddy. Plan Bree. Plan Plan Bree. Plan Pram Bree. You could get the lowering the bar stuff. You can get some of the uh, back again with troops merchandise. There is no limit to the good merch that they have in that, that store. That they're pumping out at the Barstool Sports store. Go to store.barstoolsports.com. And those folks in that store, I'll tell you what, they work overtime. To get you guys your goods. So check that out and let's get back to the show. Whenever I saw, like, a, like whenever you see, you see t-shirts of, like, free whoever. Yeah. You think it ever worth? Free Earl? Yeah. Pat the Free Bed Earl sweatshirts worked. worked out. The free Earl shirts worked. <laughs> Meek got out. Meek had a bus actually going around Sen- you know, City Hall. Because it said free him? And yeah. You just putting the butt. Yeah. That's how it worked. We freed Earl, except Earl was yeah. in like a in was school. Just at boarding school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Earl was in class. <laughs> he was like 15. They were like candlelit vigils because a 15 year old was going to school. Yeah. As they sent him to boarding school. Where in like Hawaii or something? <laughs> it was some island. My boy's on the fucking island. <laughs> yeah. In class. I was a big free Earl guy. Were you? Free Earl. I was like five years late to it. <laughs> Who were you like, saying it to? Him. Myself, I would just whisper it to myself at night. It's <laughs> just like the clanking of dinner plates. Yeah, like, free Earl. Earl, free Earl. What'd you say, son? <laughs> yeah, <I'll bone laughs> your amigo. <laughs> <laughs> Kodak and Wayne. They got out. Oh, Kodak. Yeah. They got the free. Yeah. Uh, uh, ASAP Rocky. Oh yeah, didn't yeah. Trump free ASAP Rocky? Trump. Yeah, that's his boy. And the, and the other t- Where Kodak. was he? He was in a different country, wasn't Same he? Sweden or something. Sweden, shit. yeah. What did he? What did he do? Something fucked up. I think he no, fought. Yeah, somebody fought came some at him. Security guy, right? Yeah, some dude they came at him. He, and, and then, then he got, got caught slapped in prison. prison. Yeah, and then he had weed on him. Yeah, That's they crazy, put him in jail dude. for just fighting a white dude. BG, <laughs> dude. Scandinavia. Brady Griner had the whole NBA. Yeah, BG, bro. BG, I guess. I don't think there's a lot of people that were like keep her in. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of dudes like like it was all it was definitely all just like middle school boys and NBA all just players like, and NBA players. <laughs> Being like, she needs to pay for what she's done. <laughs> There's like a shit. It's like, well, people. it's against the law. Yeah. Like, well, she shouldn't have brought a weed pen to Russia. You know the law. Yeah. You do the crime, you do the time. BG. There's so many people like that. Any like comment that you would look like, even when they freed her, people were like, oh, that, that's when it got worse. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that that's like, it's, it's more okay for it to get worse then. You can get your takes off when she gets out of the bad situation, mm. but keep them in. She's in prison in Russia. Right, right, right. Yeah. But here you are making fun of fucking slime. Oh, he's in prison. I'm not in making United fun States. of slime. You're like, did you see him by the? I'm yelling. Set? I'm yelling free slime till it's backwards. <laughs> 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 you screaming it? Yeah. From the bottom of your lungs? Yeah. Top of your voice? Yeah. From the rooftops? Yeah, that is crazy that he's going to go to jail for life, though. That stinks. I feel like that hasn't happened to like any rappers totally in a while. Crazy. I mean, yeah. Meek. How long was Meek Mill in jail for? And Gucci Mane was Half in jail his for life a while. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty toes down. Twenty toes down. I remember. And how long Gucci Mane was in jail for a long time, like ten yeah, yeah. years. Or he put some on. Shit. He, put, he went out. Went to he jail. He went in fat as shit. Got and he out came of out jail, jacked. Put on Future and Thug. Then went back to jail for like ten more years. And then Future yeah. Thug became huge. Fat Gucci's so much better though. No way, dude. Gucci's album when he first got out of prison was so good. What was it called? Walktober? <laughs> that album was fucking good. I don't know, man. It was fucking dope, bro. Send this to Gucci, bro. Hi, my name is Gucci, man. I'm addicted to everything. <laughs> <laughs> Spit. Cash, money, something, something. Yeah, Weed bro. Ampromethazine. <laughs> <laughs> And Money Machine. Money Machine came out right after uh, he got out of prison. You know that one? <laughs> you know the oh, yeah. the most random rap songs. It's hilarious. Dude, that was like the when Gucci Mane got out, he put out that album and it was amazing. True. His Christmas album? Yeah, Christmas, yeah, the Christmas album. Christmas album's fantastic. Santa, yeah, yeah. I love that album. <laughs> Damn, bro, you're thorough as hell. Well, I was a big uh I was a big Oh no, I think Wap is Waptober. Is that Gucci Mane or is I, that uh, what's his name? The, is that Chief Keef's producer? I, you know, I think it may have been. No, I think it's Gucci. Yeah, it's Gucci. Who's Chief <laughs> Keef's producer? 
Oh yeah, um, Young Chop. Chop. Oh, it was Chop Tober. Chop Chop What is well, going right, on right now? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you used to watch the fuck. <laughs> How do you know all this? <laughs> You're, you're literally like a Bob Dylan fan, dude. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nobody knows like random ass. There's like 15 well, I was, rap I was songs. Really that, into know, those and rappers. It's I love it. Oh, Chop. So Choptober. Dude, a little drill yeah, you put music. Out like a new beat. Were you a drill music guy? I was a big drill guy. Yeah, I could see that. But also, I, I watched that. that like Vice made those documentaries. They made one about Chief Keef. Yeah. And like all of Chicago, and then they made one about uh, Atlanta music. and all of like Gucci, and like Gucci Mane, Love. Gucci Mane, Mane. And it was that there was this like white dude who who filmed Gucci. all the documentaries, and he'd be in like the most dangerous parts of Atlanta, <laughs> and he'd be like, "So Gucci Mane allegedly <laughs> murdered a, a stripper here," <laughs> and then he they'd like hand him a joint, and he'd be like. <sighs> <laughs> That's how he would smoke it. He'd smoke it upside <laughs> down. <laughs> French style. Yeah, Love it was that. hilarious. That guy was awesome. I wonder what he's up to now. Dude, I'd be pretty scared if I was a cameraman and somebody pointed a gun at the camera. Oh, yeah. And you know they're loaded. Yeah. Yeah. So they're not practicing gun safety out there. <laughs> no, they haven't had the proper They break the safety off as soon as they get the gun. <laughs> Who's they? <laughs> what do you mean? Who's they? they? What do you mean? Oh my god! I mean the people in, who in buy in February, guns. bro. It's not February yet. I'm saying this on January 29th. Oh, so that's January okay. January 31st. 31st. Bro. So it's cool then. I think you're Jeez. kicking it off. <laughs> Hi, my name is Gucci Man. Gucci. You are addicted to everything. What do you got, brother? What you got, boy? Just making sure we're all squared away. Is that from your Austin? manager? Yeah. You know, let's go. What's Just his making name? sure we're all squared away. How come uh how come Mike didn't get a look for manager? He didn't tell me he wanted the job. Did that guy tell you he wanted the job? Yes. Oh. Directly. Where, where I didn't at? know you were looking though. <laughs> <laughs> where at? He directly came to me and said, I want the job. He said, I want to be your manager. Yes. I want to be your manager. <laughs> <laughs> Play something these hoes going like. <laughs> um, what is uh I was Ron's manager for a bit. I know, I heard. So I have experience. I know. He got. He put me in touch with you. Drake. Know I watched last night. Eight Mile. You know Trizzy. No, you didn't. Yeah. <laughs> what the hell is that supposed to mean? Why was that relevant? Like rap battles. No. What was your best part of? You're it? like Future. In Eight Mile. Yeah. Yeah. He got me on the radio station. Yeah. What was the uh, best? What was the best part of Eight Mile? The end, obviously. You didn't it's like tragic movie up until the end. <laughs> I thought it was pretty sweet up until the end. I mean, it shows you. It's depressing. all about the path. Bro. Yeah, I know. That's why the end is the best. Yeah. The way that it's shot is pretty cool. Yeah. I like when he fucks up Papa Doc. Yeah. His real, name, his real name's Clarence. And Clarence's parents had a real good marriage. How did I know that was going to be your favorite part? Because what's, favorite what's part your is, favorite part? When he's getting his when head like, kicked in, when his <laughs> little sister's scream crying in the background and the mom is passed out drunk? Makes you feel something, I would, brother. I would hope the ending is everyone's favorite part. I like the part in the parking lot where they're like, 10 freaky girls. Oh, yeah. That ten, part is ten, good. 10 freaky <laughs> yeah. girls. Yeah. But then Papa Doc shows up and ruins the whole fucking thing. It's free world. And then with the way he pulls him down and like- That part was awesome. Yeah, that would have hurt a lot. I feel like that would have hurt. That's hurt how whatever I always think that. Yeah. It's like, man, that would have hurt. It's quick thinking too. Yeah. Do you think it's yeah. true that Eminem have friends that have guns? Well, he had one friend. Cheddar Bob had a gun. But in real life? Yes. Do you think that's all true? Yeah. Really? Yes. No way. You don't think? You don't think his? You don't think he had any friends that had guns? Up. I don't Detroit. know. Dude, Detroit. I, I don't know. Mile? I'm saying, what kind of what kind of friendships did he have? Oh, proof. D12, man. Yeah, D12, bro. Come on now. The, d d d they had they had guns. The what makes them dozen. have guns? What makes them gun guys? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just curious. There was dirty guns in the movie. I assumed they had guns. One of the autistic that would be a weird thing to just sprinkle in. <laughs> One of the autistic Twitter accounts that I follow, they're like they they claimed Eminem this week. They're like, oh, you know wait, that I Eminem saw is, that, dude. Did you? But the video wasn't uh, playing. I didn't even. It see said that, that the video, video got removed. Wait, wait, but they were what like, was it? it was they like, claimed him. They claimed him as an autist. <laughs> yes. And they were like, it's great. It's crazy. People don't know this. That Eminem's actually autistic. And someone was like, Are, is there a source for this? Like, can you back this up? Is this actually true? And they were just like, yes. <laughs> yes, it is actually true. But they didn't give a source or back it up. But they're just like, yeah, no, he's definitely autistic. I mean, I feel like a lot of people who rhyme are autistic. I think, I think I anyone like, that's super good at something like that, that everyone thinks that they're autistic. And they sometimes are. Yeah, like everyone mm. says Bob Dylan's autistic and he definitely is. But the community mm. just fucking, they try and claim people up. 
Like it's how like yeah, like Spanish people are like yeah, yeah Christopher Columbus was Spanish or like yeah. how every nationality wants to claim well, you don't up. want I don't think you'd want Christopher Columbus on your side well back in the day M&M's everybody a good did. one Eminem is a good one to have on your team back in the day every, better than like, Christopher Columbus yeah let's see Detroit let's see who's map, around bro. a decade from now brother let's see who they're still talking about in, in <laughs> dude they're they're, they're years. slowly trying to phase Christopher Columbus like out of history yeah that's true they're replacing all that's the Christopher true. Columbus middle schools as Marshall yeah. Mathers middle yeah. <laughs> Dude, we All like the statues of Christopher Columbus are just fucking. We will, I remember one time when I was in fourth grade, we had a teacher, and like on Columbus Day, we like went in and she like told us what actually happened with Columbus, and she was like crying. And I was like, Ugh. and then I found, we found out she was pregnant like a week later, <laughs> and I was like, that feels like that was not something that was supposed to be happening. Just yeah. bawling her eyes out, being like, he shouldn't have done this. And everyone was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, well, did she have a hand in it? I don't know. We was like, she there Columbus too? Columbus Day is just like, we just thought that was a day that we got off of school. Right. We're like six years old. Yeah. All ho- all school holidays are like, no one gives a fuck about the reason why. No. It's not like you observe Lincoln's like birthday like that on President's Day. My dad used to try and like, or like maybe once he did that, he tried to like force us to, I think it was like Veterans Day. And he tried to like explain to us like what the day meant. And I remember I was just like playing basketball in our driveway and I was like, please stop talking. <laughs> Dads love to do that. Yeah. Dads love to be like, you know, Martin Luther King actually went through a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Martin Luther King actually had it pretty rough, man. You might be enjoying your little school holiday. Play. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Watching basketball. It's usually he just had a bad day friends. at work and he decides he's going to go rant about some shit he does not care about <laughs> at all. Yeah, because dudes just think they're being. You don't even appreciate Veterans Day, do you? <laughs> I do. Look at this fucking flag on this hat. Yeah. He works in insurance. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how good you've got it. Lucky fucking bastard. I wish I had it as good as you. Should have seen me growing up. He had like the same lifestyle. As yeah. Me. More freedom. Probably. <laughs> they're taking away our freedom. They Par- are. Parents are. Yeah. It's fucking bullshit. It's time for the teens to rebel. Parents just don't understand. We should get a teen army like Tate has. Tate's got a strong teen army. Tate's got the boys on lock. Yeah. If Tate was a country, he could like easily have kids enlist for his army like Germany in like 1915. Yeah. I just watched that movie All Quiet on the Western Front. Oh, I've heard it's super good. It's very good. Yeah, that's a nominee for a bunch of Oscars. It's like 1917 too though. You, you didn't like it? No, it's just this. It's like Some about war? trench warfare. Yeah. Did in, you like in, 19, in 1917? I loved it. Yeah. I thought that was a good movie. I never rewatched it. I, I rewatched it a couple times. I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I thought that was super good. But 1917 made me cry. This one didn't make me cry. You made 1917 made you cry? When he was holding his boy and they were fucking dying and he was trying to tell him that it was going to be okay. Yeah, dude. I fucking cried. I almost cried watching 8 Mile. So what about the rap <laughs> scene at the end of 1917? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Eight Miles is a depressing movie. Except Eminem, a little bit of a hothead. What do you mean? He's beating the fuck out of everyone the whole movie. The no, whole he's movie not. is just like he's a getting beat up. Well, he gets beat up, he fights, but he's always getting into fights. Yeah, because he's yeah. going through it. True. That's Don't ever try to why. judge me, dude. It's like him playing Warzone and just beating the shit out of people. Yeah, yeah. that he, he you have a different outlet. If he had fucking Call of Duty. Yeah. If I got fucked up by the free world, I would go home and I would go like 47 and three on <laughs> team deathmatch. <laughs> Close the game out with a nuke. I am white. I am a fucking yeah, mom. Yeah. <laughs> I do live in a trailer with my mom. The free world boys were no good though. They were, I mean, he lost to Lotto. That's known. In real life? No, like in the movie, like Lotto had better verses. Are you kidding me? One Pac, two Pac, three Pac, none. What, bro? What's that he even part saying? was amazing. What was he? What does that mean, dude? Are you crazy? That was like the best verse ever. He murdered all of them. No, look, you're Lotto in- sucked. No, he didn't. Yeah, the first guy was worse than Lotto. I forget what the first guy's name was. Is that Wickedy Splickety? <laughs> <laughs> what Lick- was his name? Lickety it was split? Lickety Split. Is that Lickety Split? <laughs> they did a good ass job of finding a uh, Lickety Split was names. terrible. Names of battle rappers. Yeah. <laughs> no, but Lotto Lotto was in his ass. Lotto did have better bars than Lickety Split, but Eminem was or B Rabbit. Sorry, B Rabbit was way better than Lotto. The only good line was tank top screaming Lotto. I don't. Yeah, know. dude. What do you mean that that line alone like defeats everything that he you. said? Yeah, that was pre written though. No, it wasn't. That was all off the top. 
<laughs> in battle raps, that's what the dudes used to do. Like when when someone's like when everyone's freestyling and someone starts hitting something really clean, people would look to the audience and be like, pre written. <laughs> he wrote this. He's not. It's not freestyle. Yeah, like it had to suck at a certain level for it to be freestyle. Do you think uh, your next battle is gonna be your last battle? I don't know. I don't think about it like that. You're gonna go. Fuck yeah, bro. Are you actually going to go? Yeah. You just asked We're going out. Yeah, I know. I'm still trying to figure out if I can go or not. I really want to go. You're going to go? Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna go out. Me and T-Dog. Yeah, Me and the God. The stool and stars pays. I'm going to go. I'll go. We're heading out. Yo, we're myself. bringing a whole crew. I want to go really bad. Spud, Walsh, Frank, Who else is Witch. battling it? Any, any other big names? <laughs> Hollow to Don against Sharon. Sharon's going to be there. Am I going to have to hold you back? You're like, no, Rowan, not now. Sharon's the bro. You can take oh. him after this. <laughs> Sharon's the bro. <laughs> Sharon's the you homie. Definitely, you got to come up. Do you got you got to come up though, like with a couple bars for everyone that's going to be battling in case something funky happens. Oh right? yeah, you got to stay with the Just got to keep you. a couple. Yeah, keep a couple on ice. But Sharon's a great freestyler though. Sharon and Hollow yeah. are great freestylers. They're like, I'm I'm good at freestyling. They're great freestylers. Damn. Sharon crushed the nicest. I thought. Yeah. I yeah, thought he, he ripped it. Yeah, he the was Eskimo great. Eskimo kiss was the biggest pop. That was show. yeah, that was huge. That was For hilarious. Sure. That was just great physicality. That's the way to use battle rap as a medium. But then Does, they're they're gonna announce they're gonna announce a bunch more. Those are the only two that are out. Me and Dumbfounded and Hollow and Sharon. Is it gonna be like a multiple day thing? Two days. Damn. <sighs> I'm definitely gonna go. It's what it's the twenty fourth? And or twenty fifth and twenty sixth or some shit. Twenty fifth, twenty sixth. Yeah. We can make that happen. Let's go. I've never been to the sixth. Neither have I. Six, six, six. I'm going to be you there that, in uh, March, though. You think the boy is going to yeah. come out? I doubt it. Driz? Yeah. He might I, roll by. He's going to come. <laughs> I'm in your city. <laughs> I doubt I doubt he Riding comes out. through the six. You don't think? With his woes. I could see him coming out. Why would he come out for that? Why wouldn't he? Because, bro, he would come out to see Pat's Day. Pat's Day is the one we're seeing, bro. Yeah, but then he likes Pat. He liked Pat's Day, so why wouldn't he come out and see him? Well, if he come out and pay his respects. Maybe he doesn't know about it yet. Drop his lot. Shouts to Pat. We should clip this and tag him in it. Like a lot. <laughs> Let's post this clip every single day just until keep... he sees it. No. Well, you until just got you, forced you know, to see it. You could just you just gotta say something really nice about him. Yeah. Start start now. Start now. I love Drake. I love Drizzy. Dude, well, it's, Aubrey. It's so I've always Aubrey. loved Drake. It's so crazy how underrated of an actor he is. Remember it's when crazy. he did SNL and I was like, wow, this guy's got great he's comedic hilarious. chops. I mean, he's, his it's comedic so timing is fantastic. Bro. It's so what underrated, bro. What he did, Aspies at one time was fantastic. Like, yeah, I remember when Aubrey came out with that it. new album and I, did, I hit him up and I said, Aubrey, this shit is right. next level. I was yeah. like, this, now this is the ticket. Remember, well, th- What's crazy is he could be the best actor of our time if you wanted to be. You have to be. He'd have to pass out Eminem first. Be rabbit. Yeah, yeah he could also true. be president too, of Canada, prime minister. Prime yeah. minister. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that one time that uh, we were telling the story about when Drake first posted you to SASS, and it was in 2016, and <laughs> SASS asked if Drake was famous, famous then. yet. Yeah, that was funny. <laughs> He said, geez, 2016, was Drake even famous then? No, he was in high school like the rest of us. I don't even know why I said that because I was listen- I used to listen to Drake when I was in like second grade. <laughs> he was like the most famous rapper for my entire life. Yeah. And I was like, well, he was famous five thing. years ago? <laughs> it's a funny ass thing to ask, bro. Shouts Damn, to Drizzy. Awesome Shouts to Drizzy, shit, dude. Man. You never know... Like Drake said, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like he said in that one fucking song. Yep. Mike came with me to the first rap battle that uh, I went to. It was called Scribble Jam. Yeah, no, I've seen it. Yeah. You saw Scribble Jam? I've seen all of your battles. No, no you didn't I, see Scribble Jam. I went to Jam. this. It was, I, oh, I, I don't know actually, if I saw Scribble. Scribble was actual freestyle on beat. So this was before it was acapella. And so it was Do you ever wish it was an acapella? Thing. Or are you kind of like a fuck a beat, I go acapella type guy? No, I'm a... I, I used to love going. I used to love being on beat because I think I could write a beat better than some a lot of battle rappers. Yeah, I think going on beat Definitely. would be fun. Yeah, going off a of Wix beat. Yeah, man, that dude, go some Wix beat or like a Joey Do you rap Clement at all? Beat. Sass, I spit. Yeah, you? here and there. I mean, nice. I dabble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing crazy. I feel you. You're on wax you? at all or no? <laughs> what? Have you been on a song? Couple. 
He was on the song oh, with Benny the Butcher. Yeah, being Benny the Butcher. Oh, shit, Brand that's one. right. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Ever hear of him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bank of New York, I just Butch made coming. the call. <laughs> yeah. They the said Bank, I Bank of New York, I just made the call. <laughs> they said, I need to and get in my, my head, I was like, I am fucking call. killing this. <laughs> oh, you did, though. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I am fucking murdering The right whole, now. like, in the beginning of me knowing you, that was just everything was uh, everybody coming up to you asking it why you weren't at the bank. Oh, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. That went on for months. Yeah, it did. Sass, shouldn't you be at the bank, Shouldn't bro? you be at the bank? I didn't see you at the bank today. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I hope be, you guys have a good that day. That is how the interactions go. It's <laughs> yeah. hilarious. It's just like, shake your head. Like, Yo, why don't you, you actually bank? feel like you have to stick around and talk to them yeah. for, you know. Why aren't anyway. you for sass? <laughs> yeah, it you was sad. Uh, It'll yeah, be way don't really easier. say that anymore. It'll be easier when people just yell out Bonjour Amigo. That would be Bonjour Amigo is going to be awesome. Because <laughs> you can just say that. it back to them. Yeah, we got to get that. The first time that happens, I Bonjour guarantee I'm going to be like, what the fuck? Because I'm not going to remember. It's going to be in two days. In Boston. Yeah, I'll probably get some heads out in Boston. Bonjour, saying, Bonjour. Amigo. <laughs> Boston accent. Yeah. Bonjour. Says Bonjour Amigo. Yay. They, uh, Bonjour everybody Amigo. In Boston loves future. Yeah. Isn't it true? Don't you feel that way? Uh, my theory about it is like personally, I listen to him all the time. AU basketball, it's a big AU circuit. In Mass. Yeah, mm-hmm. like his 2016 run was all our high school. Coley loved him too. Yeah, Hendrix? he was also doing AU. Yeah, Coley oh, I thought you were Hendrix. talking about like Eminem's guy or B Rabbit's guy. Who? Future, the host of the battles. Uh, oh, uh, Makai Fife. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <Talk> <laughs> no Makai Fife. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know you guys were talking about Hendrix. Nah, he just always was playing in AU, so he just had to listen to him. No, I love. I used to. I used to love Future. Oh my god! What was that one? What was the one album with uh, Perky's calling on it? Oh, Wicked. I can hear Purple Rain. Purple Purple Rain. Purple Rain is a good album. Why do you think so many more rappers have come out of Philly than out of Boston? We have like comedians and actors, and then yeah, and and sports media personalities. Yeah, Joiner like Ryan Rosillo. We have Joiner Lucas and Joiner Lucas. Joiner Lucas. Cousin Stiz was good as fuck. Yeah, I like. Does he even make music anymore? Yeah, but he's not like huge. Is that Sammy Adams? He was huge. Yeah, he's at one point. Jordan Lucas Sammy? is from uh, Worcester. No, not Sammy Adams. Sammy Adams was good too. Dude, remember when I sent you that Joiner Lucas video and you were working at your old job and it was like the Joiner Lucas video where it starts off with like a, a white dude who I think yeah, is I'm now winning. I'm, not, <laughs> I'm a not a racist. And that guy just won like an Academy yeah. Award or something, or he just won like an Emmy or something oh, like really? that. He's like a famous actor, but he was in the Joiner Lucas video. And like I think in the first minute he's like he like says the N word. Yeah, like oh, a million, yeah. yeah, I had it on my. And so call. and you oh open God, it up dude. at work or something. You're like, yo, let me. Like, and he's wearing a Make out, America bro. Great Again <laughs> hat. Uh, Michael. <laughs> and he said you slammed it shut real fast, <laughs> yeah. dude. People were like that when that came out. People were like, everyone was like, this is gonna change the world. I remember kids in school being like, I showed this to my parents and they cried. His videos are sick. They're very good. Like that shit was gay as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> In hindsight, it definitely was. Yeah, it's like a Tom McDonald ass. video. Like I was like, that was like, this is America, the Childish Gambino yeah. song. Those songs uh, suck. Yeah. This America was a good that was song. Fire. No, that's no, no, no. Ass. Like uh, I'm not saying the lyrics. I'm saying like, like the, the beat and everything. Like yeah, the beat. Yeah, yeah. it was and catchy. As a it was song, catchy. it was like so much more catchy, more catchy than like a Joiner Lucas song. The, like, I'm not a racist a song, dude. Hit. People yeah. were like playing that like in the car. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? You can't throw that on and be like, dude, this shit, this shit rips. <laughs> With like a, it's like a, it's like a conversation between like a racist white dude and a black guy just it's going like, back and forth. like, how come white people always yeah. like smell bad? Yeah. It's like, what? <laughs> Turned out this is my favorite part. Yeah. <laughs> just like some real shit. Just like driving home from work, just like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, cause you don't know what my grandmother and her grandparents went through. Like <laughs> yeah. all that shit. Like why am I, why am I called a racist? Singing along. I, yeah. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? It was crazy when it came visually. It's it's like it was a crazy video. It was a good video, and at the time he just it was, was making these thoughts. It was a good video, bids. but it was also we were we were trapped in the moment. It was like the uh, the Hobo Johnson times. Oh God, Ooh. no! There was never was there ever actually a Hobo Johnson time, dude? I remember when that dude was coming out, and people loved him. Really? Yeah. People. All, all Hobo I know Johnson. about Hobo Johnson is his tiny desk thing, and and that got that must have destroyed his entire life. No. People loved that at first. Russ got it bad too. Yeah. 
because he wore that shirt. That was back when like uh, the underground rap scene was like really popping, like Puya and Fat Nick and like <laughs> those guys. And uh, and Russ pulled up wearing that shirt. That was like, the, the well, what did the shirt say? It was something about like taking drugs or something makes you a loser. And like I was in like eighth grade, and I was like, dude, Russ is a fucking loser. <laughs> it's like he doesn't know what the fuck we're going through. You like, never touched a drug. In your life. <laughs> yeah. You only had like. Is your, that how uh, you got your start as a commenter? I wasn't commenting. I definitely no. tweeted about it a lot though. Oh, yeah, yeah. You that. could probably dig up some old Russ tweets from me. <laughs> I think people are back in on Russ. Yeah, people, people like love him Russ. Now, yeah, he's crushing he's TikTok. I think. Yeah, that was what is it? How much Zans and lean do you have to? <laughs> do before you realize you're a fucking loser yeah. it is kind of a cool shirt i would rock that i now. like how you asked us what it said as if we knew that shirt what does that shirt say <laughs> you guys have never <laughs> seen that <laughs> really like a, nah. that, oh that must have been a twitter thing because that was like a oh, huge gotcha. thing gotcha holy fuck fuck bro it's probably a little bit before my time yeah fuck and that was back when yeah i was like yeah that was when like lil pump and smoke perp were like huge and everyone was like, how dare you disrespect Pump? <laughs> dude, the hip hop like musician of yeah. all time. Dude, uh, like super cut the, of the rappers that you've dropped this episode. The most we've ever talked The history of hip hop via <laughs> sass. It kind of rocks. Well, I sass to be big into sass rap. Bumble. I mean, I still like rap, but I just don't listen to any of that shit anymore. Right. Who's your top five? Top five, top five. I don't really listen to, like, I listen to a lot of. <clears throat> Who'd your top five used to be? Uh, I mean, I've gone through so many phases. I went through right. a huge like Puya and Fat Nick and Suicide Boys phase, but sure. I, that only lasted a couple months, and then eventually I was like, Ugh. yeah, I was like, this is a little weird that I'm into this. No, right. bro, kill the party, the cringes. Yeah, and then uh, Suicide Boys does have some good songs. Um, I really liked. I mean, Mac Miller, Earl Sweatshirt. Those are probably my two favorite favorites. I liked I like Drake a lot. I think Drake. Oh, Fifty Cent. Love Fifty Cent's Drake. definitely my top number one. Shots of Fifty. Yeah. Cool. So, Fifty Cent, Drake, Earl, Suicide Mac Miller, Puya. No, God, no. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know who would be number five. Future. No, not Future. You're not a Future guy. Gunna. I like Future. No, not Gunna. Gunna. Now that he's snitched. Not that he knows. Max O'Cream. Not that I found out that Tory Lanez. Max O'Cream is good. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see what like I. <laughs> Maybe B Rabbit. Maybe you fucking. Uh, I got a Dickie. lot of Fifty Cent. I got roaches in my ass tray and roaches in my cereal. Yeah, Max. Max. I think he was on Broad really Street good. the other night. He was. Yeah. What the hell was he doing there? He's ripping it up. Damn, bro. I don't Are really we going have to the a lot Super of rap Bowl, saved on my phone. What's up? Huh? We going to the Super Bowl? We should, bro. You mean the big game? <laughs> we get the mics out at the Super Bowl? We got to, bro. There's, that's content that has to be made. For real? We, we got to. All right, let's 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 get it. Maybe done. Smitty said that he was going to... I just want to buddy Eddie. Uh... Smitty said that he was going to hand the tickets over to Dude. the boys. What tickets? He said something about if Dave... Since Dave... Uh, you know, sent him to Minnesota that if the wrong crew went out, he would pass the tickets over. To all of us? <laughs> to, <laughs> to go to the right. Super Bowl? Yeah. Man, Smitty's, Smitty's just sitting on $60,000 worth of Super Bowl yeah. tickets. Boy, that's crazy. Yeah. Damn, bro. Smitty's the plug. Dude, I think I'm going to take Travis Kelsey and uh, Jalen Hurts anytime touchdown and put like a lot of money on it. Really? Yeah. This Go up, brother. What, like 40 or 50 Tyler bucks? Tyler had a big hit. No, I think I'm going to put like 500. Let's go, Sass. Yeah. Responsibly. Responsibly. Or responsible. Well, because that's going to be like the last bet. I'm not going to, I'm not betting on like basketball. I can't. Yeah, watch you will. Basketball. Who do you want to win? I have no interest in watching basketball. By the, what about the Lakers. The tournament you'll be in. No, I, I might bet on the, I might the bet Lakers. on March Madness. And what about the Lakers? <laughs> no. I, 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 I don't like basketball at all. You Are like you going to come to the game tonight to with us yeah, or no? Throwing a bet for tonight's game. Oh, jeez. Game time. Way. Threw us some tickets. Did they actually get you guys tickets? Yeah. Yeah, me and Mike are going right after this. Come. Yeah, we'll see. Um, Why? We need, what else are you doing? <laughs> we need to line it up. You know what I mean? If if you're not in, we need to find somebody else. Consider me out. Why? <sighs> Why aren't you going? I don't really want to go. You don't want to. You don't want to go courtside at the Garden. Lakers, Knicks. 
you don't want to go. LeBron's only 117 points away. He might do it tonight. <laughs> yeah, if LeBron has a good night, you'll watch history. What are you doing tonight? Chilling, posting. <laughs> on social media or post it up? Post it up. Oh, okay. Word. I don't know if you're just going to be posting on social media. I'll probably get some posts off. <laughs> no, but do you really have something to do or you just doesn't don't want to hang go? out with you? He just doesn't want to spend time with you. Gotcha. No, I got stuff to do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like what? Don't worry about me. No, get your head. Tell me about what I got going on. We got shows this week. Get your head yeah, we're good. So lock it. <laughs> lock it. Yeah, I do good. have shows this week. Five I guess shows. Mook's coming. Yeah, Mook, you want to come? Mook's not allowed to go. He's busy. Okay. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> yeah, he's working with Sass. All right, bet, 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 bet. We'll Can get we... Joey Kamasta to come. That'll be fun. Shout out to Joey. Joey. We'll get Joey Clem to come. You know who that is? Yeah. Joey Clem's the artist behind. A lot. A lot. Most. Eats. Eats. Neighborhood Eats. Nice. Are we doing Neighborhood Eats again? Yeah. Is that what they're saying? Yeah. Where are we going? Actually, Hawaii? they said today are we still that go we to Hawaii? be doing an episode in Italy. Yeah. No. Someone dropped a little hint. In the off season. Who said that? Yeah? Holy fuck. Am I going or am I out of that? Do you want to go? Do you like Italy or not really? No, are I'm you in on Italy. Eats? I was in on Eats last season. You'd have to go to the Lakers night if you want to go to Italy. I was in on the Super That's Bowl true. last year, too, and they're not letting me go to that, so you'd you have never to know. Go, you'd have to go to... Sash missed a couple this past season, didn't he? You looked a lot like Smokes and two of them. Yeah, I was going to say, bro. I missed, like, Smokes one. Smokes was kind of taking the show. I missed the two. Show. I missed the, the Milwaukee and Chicago one, and I missed, yeah. like, half oh, of, so the, of the New York one. No. And I you missed the Chicago at, one because I was York in Chicago. For- I was in Chicago at my sister's graduation and I get back and like an hour after the plane lands, Ron's like, we're going to Chicago tomorrow. So you're still at the airport. And I'm oh, like, dude, are you tomorrow. are you kidding me? I was like, have you lost your goddamn mind? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's not like that crazy. It's a it really isn't. Two hour flight. Yeah, no, I'm joking. I just didn't feel like traveling. Just like you don't feel like going to the Lakers game, but suddenly we're on Lake Como riding jet skis. <laughs> <laughs> and like, Can I come? Bro, I got a long weekend coming up. A long right. week. No, so it is Tuesday. I know. Go so. to a basketball game on Tuesday because your weekend's going to be long. Well, I have one more day to do what? To post up and chill. You posted up and chilled all weekend. No, because I also don't want to drink. I know if I go to the Lakers game, I'm blacking out tonight. Fu- no, you don't have to do that, bro. You Just have, have a boba tea. I do. Just have a fucking. It's not really a tea. choice. We're not drinking. I don't tonight. have a choice. We're ripping zips in solidarity. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing sober, sober We're February. Lit, yeah. Ah, maybe I'll We're go. We're working out with uh, Pat Bev afterwards. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Damn. He isn't going to be with the team? Yeah. You going to meet LeBron? If you maybe. Have you met LeBron? Oh, yeah. We all have. Yeah. No way. What? He comes to the studio every time we record. Just to do a little pep talk? Just the mic test. Pick up some wine. <laughs> yeah, mic yeah. test. He does the mic check and then gets the fuck out. They have yeah. the same wines. So they just come by, compare wines. You guys should get in the locker room. Yeah. Stir the pot a little bit. <laughs> That's why. What do you mean? Do. I don't know. Fuck up LeBron's <laughs> locker. Put Pat Bev stuff in it. Turn everything oh, upside down. Yeah. Turn LeBron's backpack inside out. <laughs> Have you guys done an episode and talked about the camera thing yet? Yeah, nugget yeah. it. Dude, yeah. We That's what we used, about to, what? we used to call that nuggeting. What? When you turn someone's backpack inside out. It yeah. looks like a chicken what was nugget. it called? Something no, like it's, that. It's called nuggeting. Yeah. 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 Oh, we didn't call that might have been what it was called in Massachusetts, though. I remember one time I, I got nuggeted at like a bad time. Something. I almost cried. I remember I like I went to the bathroom and I came back and my backpack's just fully Dude, inside it, it, out. It was, was like, tough. God damn it. It's tough. And then yeah. you gotta like you gotta like carry like, it to the next class. Yeah. <laughs> so that shit was. It tough. looks so funny though. We did yeah. it on the on the bus all the time. It yeah. was hilarious. You would like crawl under the seats. And, yeah. Yeah, that shit was fucking funny. Mike was mischievous in high school. Yeah, it's unsurprising. It, Ron was too. <laughs> Yeah, Rome would probably just take a knife to the backpack and just cut it in half. <laughs> no, Mike was crazier than I was. And be in like, high look school. what I did. <laughs> look sure. what I did to you. How Freshman funny. year of high school, Mike <laughs> and uh, I think another Mike used to go up to the wrestling gym and they would just like run into the room and like yell at the wrestlers as they were practicing. And the wrestlers, like a high school movie from the 80s, would like chase them oh through the God. school in their singlets, like running after them. <laughs> this shit them. was funny. They'd be like, they got me the one time. <laughs> really? <And> they, like, <laughs> they beat the shit out of you? He, like, actually, he made me did be like, rabbit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of did. He was he was gripping me up hard, dude. He, That's like, hilarious. At so, one like, point, he threw me. To... We were like in the basement. We were looking for Frayne. And Another he's like, Mike. 
we're going to find and he like gripped me by my collar the whole and just brought me throughout the school looking for him for the other kid and there was a running. desk down under in the basement <laughs> we used to do this mind you because we had to stay at the school for like three hours after you know after Buses school so like you didn't, five o'clock. Really? didn't have anything to do you just like that fucked sucks. around you know that was fun though i remember hanging out it at was school so after much fun, school and dude. just fucking around oh my god i used but to the, i used to or no what were you saying oh i just like he would do shit where it was like you know there'd be a desk he'd be like See if he's under there. <laughs> he clearly look look under yeah. there. Look so in that trash crazy. can. Is he in there? <laughs> like, bro, yeah, <laughs> shit was funny as fuck. Did they have hands or they just started pulling wrestling moves on you? Like if you could jump by a group of wrestlers, are they just going for the legs? Oh, they're just fucking, you know. That is hilarious. So, actually, like, yeah. I got punched by the coach. Manetti was the coach. <laughs> the coach. He brought me up to the coach and he he's like, yeah, why don't you come in and wrestle, you fucking pipsqueak? And he punches me in the chest. And it was like, <laughs> That's was like, crazy. Fuck. Was he like a gym teacher? This dude was like a, co- he was like the, a football, uh, freshman coach, football, freshman coach, football coach, coach. This and dude like was like 400 him. pounds. And he'd just be like, I fucked your mom to these kids. He'd be like, <laughs> That's yeah, awesome. I, you want to smell my dick? It still smells like your mom's pussy. <laughs> <laughs> to like these freshman football That's players hilarious. who would never play football again. That's They're like hilarious. 114 pounds. And he'd be like, you guys are fucking bitches. Like, you guys are fucking pussies. I'm going to knock you the fuck out. <laughs> Is he in prison? That dude was wild. No, he's just like a freshman football coach. I bet like yeah, anybody who had like a freshman football coach. Yeah, that's football coach. That's the archetype. Fucking baby Those guys, squeech. I mean, if they didn't have freshman football, they probably would be in jail. Yeah. <laughs> I had a... Yeah. I had a <laughs> <laughs> if they could have coached freshman football, they would yeah. be locked up. I had that's a... <laughs> freshman football saved me. <laughs> Dude, we had parents without sticker. kids on the team, coach. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah but they'd Dude, be like oh, our yeah. friends' parents. We're like, what are yeah. you doing? Yeah. I had a gym teacher in high school who was like an asshole and he would like always be talking shit to all the kids and i remember one time in front of the whole entire class in like ninth grade he was like he's like harry you gotta hit the gym man and i was like what and he's like don't you ever want to get a girlfriend <laughs> and i was like jesus christ it's tough it was it was mortifying and then i so, didn't work out for like three years after that yeah, like you went in spite of opposite. him yeah I was like, I'll yeah. show you, bitch. I'm going to be skinny fat for the yeah. rest of my life. <laughs> I should go back to that school and just fuck him up. Show him what nah, he, he became. Was, he was dude. a unit just of just straight muscle. The funny thing, he was probably, he was just trying to help you kind of. You know? No, he was trying to, he, he was, just he did was it the wrong way. Balls. Yeah. But he was probably just trying to, he probably had good intentions and was probably like, he responds well to busting balls. So he was trying to help you out in a positive it's way. It's such a crazy Are you thing. working out now? No. Yeah, he is. I thought the the last time I listened in, you you were working. That's out. like every, every other episode. Right. <laughs> I was working out for a week, and then I and then I went on the road, and I haven't worked out since. Yeah. You guys should mook and sass. You guys should kind of. I went. I know, went to the gym at the hotel when we were in together when I just felt get like ripped a fucking up. beast. Did you? I was like, I can't believe I just worked out while I was on the road. Nice. And then I haven't worked out since then. You went too hard. I went way too hard. Yeah. You overexerted yourself. Yeah. The legs were hurting. I uh, went full body. Yeah. I did. Couldn't walk the next day. I did bench, incline bench, rows, some more rows. So chest and back. Well, yeah, and chest I did and back. And tries. I mean, just okay. taught the buys and tries a lesson. So no legs? So chest and God arms. God, no, dude. Oh. So not full body. Dude, the lower half of the body does not count at all. Wear As pants. a full body workout? Just wear pants. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's I'm never going to work my legs, legs out. That's oh, what yeah, we yeah. do. That's what I do. Just wear Put pants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just pants always. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen your legs. They're nice. Yeah, I got yeah, fine you got legs. good legs. They're nice. They're bro. proportionate. Weird the socks, body. but. Weird socks. Nah, Shout out sure. to the sponsor, though. No, they don't sponsor us anymore. Okay. Then, yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> no, they're good people no, over there. They're really good people. They're actually really handsome. We appreciate the hell out of them. We fucking love them to fucking That's death. That's just busting. Bon I was busting jobs. Amigos. Just some funny shit with the fucking boys. Some goofy shit. <laughs> Mike, why don't you come out to Boston this weekend? I can't. I'm no. busy. If he's not going to go to the Lakers game, you don't want to come busy. experience greatness. I have shit to. I, you know, I only have a couple more days to. <laughs> what is post Bill Burr going to be in town? No, I'm going to be in town, bro. Five sold out shows. Let's go. Come on, come on down. All right, I'm, maybe I'll, I'll put you up in a nice little. I'll put you up at the Ritz. How does that sound? Is that, that sounds where you're good. Staying? God no, I'm probably staying at some hotel attached to the comedy club. <laughs> yeah, a hostel. Oh, yeah, above the probably in a club. mall. It's a fire hotel. The, uh, I almost stayed at it. Very good. The what one that's the one that's at the club. Yeah, what is it? You're gonna love it, Sass. Know. Omnia. So come see Sass at the Omnia, probably around the fourth floor, or something like well, that. Omni. I gotta give a shout out to the guy that uh, in Plano. There was a the, the guy that was running the hotel upgraded my room, 
And then I didn't remember the name of the hotel. Still don't remember it. And he got very good. Me. Cambria. Good guy. Good people over at Cambria. Dude, in Plano, to, Texas. Who was it again? I don't know. Oh. He never told me his name. No, I mean the hotel. Cambria. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Cambria. Great spot. So if you're ever in Plano, Texas, make sure you stop by the Cambria. See, but yeah. Talk to, uh, you don't even have to stay name? there. Just stop by. Just say hi. Tell what's his name. Hey, Sass sent you. There's a guy on the podcast who I listened to. <laughs> yeah, who they got would his know. Basic room upgraded to. They would know. He was, was wearing a Buffalo Bills sweatshirt. They put me in like a, they put me in a suite. I had a really? whole living room. No, uh Yeah, a couple What'd beers you in do? the fridge. A couple yeah. cold ones. That was probably awesome. Some cold ones. It was. It was nice. Where'd you watch TV? On the couch in the suite or in the other room? Bed. Bed? Yeah. You brought your uh, PlayStation video now. game or what? That stays home. You should or, start bringing it. That's precious cargo. Bring it, dude. You should have a road a road console. You can't and a trust console. United Airlines to handle that thing with care. Yeah, I should have a road console. Some people do that. Some people bring like consoles on the NBA road. NBA guys. That's why yeah. I said it. Uh, I was on a Delta flight yesterday, and uh, the lady was like, "Big baller." No, well, she was like, "Everybody, take your seats. Like, oh, yeah. you sit in the seat that you're assigned to. This ain't Southwest, y'all." And everybody <laughs> oh, like <shit>. died laughing. <laughs> Like, oh, of course it isn't. That's oh, a bear bastard. And then she was like, Martinez family, I'm talking about you. Yeah. She called them out by name. No. She was like, you guys are in the wrong seats. Sit in the correct seat. That's yeah, crazy. That's it was like the principal over the intercom because the whole plane was like, oh. It was so oh that's <laughs> awesome. Where were, were you sitting family? first? Of course. Where was, where was Tyler at? 48, Yo, 48, plus? 48, right, 48 F. 48 yeah, plus. 15, bro. Yeah, he's I, I, I sniped that. Tyler's moving on up, bro. Yo, let's go, brother. Some gold. I'll be in the lounge. Me, me and Tyler Every time I fly with Ron, he's like in the cockpit. Yeah. They got like a nice little baby bath going for him, <laughs> washing him up. They and rows. they got me like, they got me in a three person row with four people sitting there. You yeah. got the standing row. Yeah. <laughs> You're like underneath the dude, plane with the dogs. Dude, Mook was in a, I don't know if he's told you guys this. He, he got, he got, he upgraded himself to like extra space and they put him in the jump seat next to the <laughs> flight attendant. <laughs> That'll be $47, oh dollars, please. <laughs> dude. <laughs> he paid extra to sit in the jump seat. <laughs> That's not, hot? That can't be right. Bro. Yeah. That can't be right. That's crazy. Like, Do you want to move up to a middle seat? I'm like, no, why? She's like, I'm about to sit right here. I was like, That's what? nuts. <laughs> it would have oh been sick God. if she was hot, but otherwise. What uh, airline was it? Uh, American. American? American? They did you like great. that and there were empty seats? Yeah. And they made I you sit American. with the flight attendants? That's what they're doing now? They're selling out the flight attendant space? I dropped like <laughs> I hate American. Dude, I had an 85 yeah, it's not good. window seat. He fell asleep on me, like head on my shoulder oh, the no. whole flight, like five and a half hours flight, and he just couldn't stop ripping ass. Like the worst. I've been getting <laughs> a lot of those too. But I was pinned up quite literally. He was leaning against me and I was leaning against the window. Dude, have you and ever heard trap for six You hours. didn't throw it? You didn't give him a little? No, I did, but he would just nod back. It was Jesus. super uncomfortable. Have you, you ever heard given him that proper wild. Kreischer does on planes? Where he puts a coffee filter in his pants so that he can fart and it smells like coffee <laughs> so that people won't be like, it smells like shit. Nice. And he goes up to the flight attendant and goes, I can have a coffee filter. <laughs> he just shoves it and in he there. Puts it in his, he puts it in his boxers. Coffee filters don't make shit smell like coffee. That's his paper. Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it's a coffee like packet yeah. or something. Like coffee grounds? Yeah. That's what they used to like smuggle drugs. He just shoves yeah. grounds in there. I mean, coffee grounds are very strong scented. And yeah. it throws off the scent of the dogs yeah. Yeah. when you're walking through. It's a dryer uh, sheet. cleanser. Imagine like getting caught like by one of the dogs for having coffee up your ass just so your farts wouldn't stay. <laughs> no, no. I was, I was looking out for everybody. Yeah, officer. I, just want, I just didn't want people to know that I had. What is it? Can we see the picture? It's the uh, ground coffee. He puts it in oh, his ground coffee. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. He puts that in his ass yeah. so that he farts. Through it? Yeah. He strains his farts through yeah. it? Yeah. so nuts. <laughs> it can't be worth it. <laughs> There's like those shower heads that get use it coffee out, beans that yeah. like it's like makes better water pressure yeah. too. Maybe he has softer fart pressure. He's like really soft, Maybe. nice yeah. farts because he's farting through coffee. I've been yeah. having aggressive pressure recently. Have you? Like every fart I have is an explosion. It's <laughs> There's no silent ones. It's all I mean, pops. Your oh. weekend sounds fantastic. Yeah, just sitting alone for five straight days. Well, I'm not alone. Hot boxing your yourself. I'm not alone. I've got my fucking, <laughs> I got my boys like, on the mic. <laughs> Just because you guys didn't play, like, what do you play video games? Do you guys play fucking Madden? You guys are definitely, you guys are all Madden guys. Never played a real video game in your life. Oh, you said a real <laughs> video look, game? Yeah. Are you addressing you the room right now? Yeah, I am. 
Everybody, because you guys don't understand how fun video games are. Because you've never. Been I'm good. just saying. Because a, you've never been good at a video game, and b, if you have, it's been you've been playing fucking Madden 2011 on like GameCube against the computer on easy mode. I was just commenting on the pressure, the the thing you said about your farts recently, and putting you know two and two together that that room must have smelled. Awful. Yeah, it did. And guess what? Didn't you care. No one else was in there. It was just grinding. me. Bro, I do not give a fuck about playing Madden on easy mode against a computer. Like I'm in. I'm playing video games to try and have a good time. Like I'm not trying to make. But it you got to start playing myself. some real games. What games are you playing? I'm not playing any video games I'm, right now, bro. <laughs> 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 fuck. Well, you got to start, dude. It's one of the few joys. I don't even in life. have any on my phone. I should get some. I got games hella on games my on my phone. The only thing I do is VR shit, bro. That's the only yeah. thing I'd have any interest in is getting into some VR video games. This is just coming from someone who's never played video games because VR video games suck. No, not now. Well, that's just the new ones, sweet, bro. I, I have an Oculus, bro. Do you? I can't. Well, I can't use it because my apartment's too small. Bro, you're you're like playing like uh six straight days locked in the room, red eyes, fucking like don't eat food or see sunlight <laughs> to be like less than mediocre at a game that 14 what? year olds are fucking sick at. Dude, I am the top dog. Get mad. <laughs> the top You're literally losing I'm like the kids who are I'm, dude, like, I'm getting like, what do you I'm play, getting like, I'm getting like, dude, I'm getting like 12 kill Warzone games. <laughs> I don't I know what that means. In Warzone. Yeah. 12 doesn't sound like that many. In in Warzone it is. is dude, it? I, dude, it, when I play multiplayer, what like do you Team Deathmatch, Search ranked? and Destroy, right now, like 170. In the world? Yes. No, you're not. Yeah, are you? That's a lie. That's disgusting. That's a lie. You're clearly like... You have like, to stop. That's a we lie. Have to, we have to save you, bro. not even a flex either if it's true. <laughs> yeah. 170 is just true. like... Just the wrong place to be. It's just too good, but not good you're enough, not you know? <laughs> no, I'm you're not definitely like... Yeah, you're My definitely rank like in the game 45, is 170. 45,000th in the I'm world. I'm probably way below that. Yeah, you're... Yeah, exactly. I don't That's think you good. can even see what you're ranked. But you're like, I'm fucking sick at video games, dude. I am... Very good at Call of Duty. <laughs> I mean, I've been playing Call of Duty my entire life. I used to think Have I was sick at gun? FIFA when I was. Yeah. Uh, Are you good? Mook? He's nice. nice. That's, That's very good. That is sick. A Did you do Vibs' this thing today? No, because I, I, I didn't want to yeah. enjoy yeah. the competition. I, I hit for the fucking uh, top target on my first fucking shot. Did you? Bro. I would hit every shot. I missed my every single close. one. You did? Yeah, I missed all six or five or whatever. Yeah, I hit the, I hit the middle. <laughs> we got to get Sass out there. I feel bad for you guys. No survival instincts. Right. You would have no idea what to do in Your war. Your survival That's... instinct would be like, where's a plug, dude? I need to fucking no. find an outlet yeah. so I can play. <laughs> you think electricity is not a factor in war? You're going to have a Something backup generator. About looking for an outlet in war? You're going to be using a fucking hand pump generator like John Henry on the railroad so you could play video games. You guys don't know what war is. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't know war if it slapped you in the face. <laughs> You're like saying war is hell while you order fucking smash burgers. <laughs> <laughs> I was ordering, dude, I was ordering were, salads, dude. Uh, you gotta uh, keep the war is fucking go, brutal as you're like eating cheesy you don't fries. Want this? Shit. Get out! You don't know what I've been through. It's like my like a man's face when he goes into war, and like a man's face four years into war, and it's just. I would US give era. any of you guys a hundred dollars if you could kill me in in Call of Duty one on one. All right, that'd be sick. And there would be no chance. It would actually be like embarrassing. Are you serious, dude? <laughs> Want to make it a thousand? Hundred bucks, bro? Are you kidding me? Uh, just uh, you give Sounds me a like thousand if I can bonus. kill you. Sorry, a hundred dollars. All a right, a thousand. I'll do it. I'll do it. A thousand dollars if I can kill you, and I owe you nothing if I can't. Yes. All right, let's do you it. You wouldn't even know how to fucking. Use I would rip you in if we did uh, paintball, though. No way. I I would. I'm tactical. Can you do a somersault? Yes. No way. Bonjour, amigo. Dude, I would have like pistols. I would have pistols like going like different holsters going down both of my legs. So I'd be out of my rifle. Yeah. Throw it. <laughs> That'd be you. Just the way. It, what was this? A kick. Bro, did you, you see? You weren't anticipating the kick, were you? No, no, I have the kick. Did you watch like, RRR? No. Oh my Too unrealistic God, for me? The one scene, the dude is <laughs> sitting on another guy's shoulders with like holding two guns out like this. Yeah. He's like shooting as the guy runs around with yeah. him on his shoulders. It's so fucking legendary. I have heard it's very good. So why not watch it, bro? Just haven't gotten around to it. I've been too busy watching 8 Mile, studying. <laughs> bet, studying his bet. stage presence, trying to take notes. Now everybody from, et cetera. From the 313, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Detroit, bet. 8 Mile. Crazy. I battled a dude who was in the... Uh, 
bonus cuts of that movie, Marv One. Oh, really? Yeah, bro. So I'm basically, and he battled Eminem in, in the movie. So basically, just a, a degree of separation. From Is Marv him, good? Yeah, he's very funny. Is he? Another good, nicest performance from him. He, I, that was that, that had the very song. wasn't really very sold good. on on their performance. To be You're honest. talking shit. No, I'm just saying. The round you know? three was perfect. man in the arena. No, the, round, the round three was beautiful. The man in the arena, brother. I thought he was great. I thought he was great too. No, I loved him. I loved this performance. The third yeah, round, right. I forgot about that. that Thank third you, Tyler. Round was was a fucking bum. Totally he did live in a trailer with his mom. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, should we should we end the show? Sure. Bonjour, amigos. Bonjour, amigos. Bonjour, amigos. We'll see you guys next week for the 100th episode of Son of a Boy Dad podcast. Remember to bring your monopolies. Remember to bring your monopolies.